not perform a safety demonstration, please remove your headset and pay close attention as summary will follow in English. Even though demonstrate a secret hood still on board, I'll be able to take all hood telephones or lift up mics. Et sammendrag av information finnes på safety on board kartet i stolommen. Sikkerhetsbeltet, det festes og åpnes på denne måten. Det skal alltid være fastbent når skiltet med sikkerhetsbeltet lyser, og vi anbefaler at du alltid har fastbent når du sitter i setet. So yesterday we took a two hour flight from Manchester Airport to Oslo. We overnighted in Oslo before taking another one and a half hour flight to a place called Budo. From Budo we had a third flight of half an hour to where I am now. In total that's 1100 miles, so where am I exactly? Well. I'm 68 degrees north and I'm inside the Arctic Circle. So you may well be wondering why I'm stood on a road bridge next to the sea. Well, yesterday we travelled down from near Lechness, where we were staying, um, to get to where I am now. And the reason I'm here is because I saw an image um, of this location a while ago that absolutely blew me away. I was staggered by the beauty of the place. And it was enough to make me come a thousand miles uh, north to the Arctic Circle to see it for myself. Just had to see it, had to shoot it. Um, so. We arrived yesterday, the lighting was much better than it is now, you can see, it's very, very grey and, and I got the most beautiful image and I'm going to show that now. So here's the bombshell. That image was taken from this bridge, and this bridge is just so busy, it's untrue. Um, I arrived yesterday, um, drove up and down looking for the best spot, and it literally is right on this bridge. You've got to put the tripod against the bridge, because obviously the tripod legs don't go right up to it, and you've got to somehow try and get the camera and the lens to poke through the railings. You've then got to put your filters on over the top, trying your best not to drop them into the sea at the same time. It's not really what landscape photography should be about. I got up this morning and uh, as I walked up the hill there was 11 photographers all stood together and I think there's probably about 20 at this moment in time trying to capture the bit of colour that's in the sky. Um, I'm probably going to shoot it again but I'm not going to do a vlog about it. Um, I don't think there's a lot of value in showing people um, how you actually get this shot. It's certainly not going to inspire anybody, but the place nonetheless is stunning. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. It's well worth the trip. Um, the scenery, the, the mountain scenery is second to none. It's just, the peaks are just so sharp and pointy and jagged and rugged. And it's got everything that you want from a landscape photograph. So I'm sure there's lots and lots of other locations that, that I can find. Uh, and that's what I'm going to focus on. Can I better? the scene from this bridge? Probably not. Whoever found this um, hit on a winner when they found it. And to be honest, without the bridge, the shot wouldn't even be possible. So let's be grateful for that. Um, so yeah, going forward, I'm going to try and find some new shots and, um, and try and hope that they will come close to what can be achieved from this location. So stay tuned.
So good morning. I have to say, it's freezing out here. It's so cold. Anyway, I've made a, a 45 minute trip this morning to this beautiful bay behind me. So far on the trip, I've been pretty unlucky with the weather. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark. I've, I've got to get here quite early this morning so I can get all this in before the sun comes up. Um, yeah, I've been pretty unlucky with the weather so far. I had three nights, or three days should I say, of nothing but crystal clear skies. And whilst it was beautiful to the eye, it wasn't that great for photography. Since then, I've had nothing but blanket cloud. And, uh, and again, it, it's not that appealing in terms of photography, a lot of the peaks. Uh, on the, on the uh, Lofton Islands were, were completely covered, you couldn't see them. Um, so I've not done a lot of photography unfortunately, although I've really enjoyed being it. It's absolutely stunning and I'm sure we'll come back. It's just not to be missed, I can highly recommend it. But yesterday I was doing some scouting around and we came to this fjord here. Now a lot of the fjords are quite difficult to reach because ice builds up around the edges and you can't get close to them. Um, it's like these big platelets form, I think it's with the, with the tide as it rises and falls. So getting to them is quite difficult. This one's a bit of an exception and uh, I might have a nosy around after this is done to see if there's any more compositions um, around the edges of the, uh, the fjord there. But for now, this shot that I found yesterday, it's sort of a precipice um, with a snowy foreground, I'll show you in a second, um, leading to some boulders that then step onto a beautiful white sandy beach and beyond that are the most stunning mountains you could ever wish for on a, on a, on a beach scene like this. It's just absolutely fantastic. You just, I can't think of anywhere else in the world where I've seen anything like this. So I'm gonna set up, get ready, probably another 20 minutes to go and hopefully those clouds over those mountains there will not disperse and we'll go nice and pink and reflect on those beautiful snowy mountains, so fingers crossed. So two things have happened since I was here yesterday. The tide's not in half as much as it was, so that's not gonna help things. I was hoping for a nice long exposure, make the water all milky. Um, don't get me wrong, it's still in the frame, but compositionally, it's surprising how little things can make a difference to an image and simply having the tide we talk about thirds all the time having the tide covering two thirds of the image makes an, an enormous difference I want to put the image that I took yesterday with the tide in up now um, you can see there with the tide being up it, it fits it sits comfortably um, in the frame now, as we've got it here right now, um, it's probably on the left-hand third. And me being fussy, <laughs> the way that it arcs, the shape of it, doesn't fall into the frame. It sort of leads you right out of the frame. So that's a bit of an issue this morning for this composition. Um, I probably should have checked the tide times. And that's a lesson. To be fair, where we're staying, the tide doesn't seem to rise and fall. Um, but obviously because this is a beach and it's very, very shallow gradient, it does make a difference. So it takes a bit of an edge off the photograph for me. And to add insult to injury since I was here yesterday, somebody's walked through the snow in the foreground. So a big line of footprints um, going through the composition. But hopefully, the sky's starting to colour up a little bit now. That can be ignored um, with the back, backdrop of the mountains beyond and, and we can see past that. I still think it's a beautiful, wild and rugged scene. Um, I could, in effect, I could actually cheat and um, fill those footprints in. They wouldn't take more than a couple of minutes to get rid of in Photoshop. Um, I'm not really into doing that. I'd rather record a scene exactly as it was when I saw it. But if it means the difference between a fantastic image and a mediocre image, and it's something that is a human influence that's spoiled the picture, um, well, I'm not saying I'm comfortable with removing it, but um, I don't get to come here that often, so I might have to. 
Anyway, my alarm's just gone off on my, my watch to say that sunrise isn't far away. So let's get ready <laughs> and hope that that tide comes in quick. So sunrise happened about 10 minutes ago and I've been stood here frantically hoping for some colour. The mountains are still cloaked in a thick grey cloud and um, just when I thought all this was going to be for, for nothing, there's a little patch of hope that's appeared in the sky in the top left hand third and that is a little bit of cloud that's gone orange and without that this shot is nothing. Um, so I'm going to take that now. Um, what a big difference that's made. There's another little piece just, just to the right of it and there's a bit of thick cloud creeping in that's just helping to cover that bland blue sky. Um, so here we go. I don't think we're going to break any records with this image but that bit of orange and that bit of cloud has really saved the day. So two second time, I shut the blind on the back. As always, take the image. Happy with that.